Before I get started with this unboxing and I have uh, three different boxes to go through I want to say thanks for stopping by and if this is your first time here if you haven't done so already make sure you do the right thing and hit the subscribe button below or you can hit my icon hit subscribe and then we're good to go and if you enjoyed the video then give your girl a thumbs up so let's get started I'm gonna open this box here and then I'll go through the small box and then the larger box so let's take a look Jordan ones in the co.jp midnight navy colorway and they look super fresh like they feel really nice in hand um, so I'm gonna hold off on my review and then continue with the unboxing so hold tight for that so let's put this to the side and continue so this is a little box and then this is a 7c and these are so cute which is a toddler size. The shoe you saw before this was a grade school size 4. And these are so cute. They're like the size of my hand. Do people still put shoes on top of their dash? I don't know, but this will totally fit there, right? Um, so let's continue with the third box. I'm gonna put this to the side. And here is the third box. So let's take a look. And these are a men's size. As you can see, this is significantly larger in my hand compared to the first two. This is the 11 half in men's. And so I was able to hit on the sneakers app through an exclusive access. So I think I got that probably a week before the actual drop date. So I didn't know how to act that morning. I pulled the trigger on all three shoes within seconds of each other. And I was able to hit it on men's, uh, grade school, and toddler size, right? I actually was looking for the infant one, which is like this small. Um, but they didn't have those, so I ended up pulling the trigger on some um, toddler instead. But it's all good, and I'm so blessed I was able to hit because on the actual drop date, I just hit snooze. So it was a very, very nice thing, um, especially on a Jordan release date, to not like worry about it. Best feeling. Um, so let's go to some details. exclusive in 2001 and it's one of four different colorways that dropped in Japan only so there was an all black one an all white one a metallic silver one that dropped stateside this year actually and then this midnight navy one here um, and they were so exclusive I think there were only 2,000 pairs for the metallic silver ones and then 3,000 pairs for each of the other three colorways um, so super super limited quantity and then 20 years later stateside we received two out of the four colorways so I'm anticipating the other two to drop really soon just to you know celebrate Tokyo 2020 or 2021 um, so we'll see how that goes but they look really nice um, they all received a jeweled wings logo treatment for the ankle collar which looks really good against this metallic silver swoosh here um, the men's received it as well however poor toddlers they did not so they got like a heated adhesive <laughs> wings logo treatment. It's not even like the Deboss classic look either, so pretty sad. But what's really interesting is that the leather on the GS is significantly different from the ones on the men's. So on the GS, it's like a smooth leather, whereas the men's, it's like a tumbled, wrinkled leather here. So on the toe box, the tongue, the upper corner panels as well as the collar are all very different compared to each other. 
So GS and toddler or preschool is the same texture and material for the leather panels. And all the Midnight Navy pieces, so the toe cap, the lace guard, the ankle collar, as well as the heel, are made out of nubuck. And it's really interesting. It doesn't feel like the same nubuck as on my Tim's or on my Mocha's. Um, you know how when you move your hand in the direction, you see that texture move? This one, that doesn't happen here. So it's really interesting. Um, it feels really, really nice, like it's really soft, um, but it doesn't feel like what I'm used to feeling for nubuck. So all sizes come pre-laced with this circular midnight navy color here. And then for GS and men's, there is an extra set of laces and this is in a flat white lace. And these are the classic Jordan 1 laces. Um, and then these round circles are something a little different for you. And then moving up behind this one pre-lace here is this tongue. And this is something really interesting because it's not your typical cushioned nylon tongue. This is a really flat leather tongue and it's really thin. And instead of your typical tongue tab, you have the Nike Air with a swoosh embroidered directly onto the tongue. And it's really interesting because it looks really bad to me. The quality just isn't there. Um, I'm not a fan of it because it looks like it's unfinished. And that's across all sizes too. Like sometimes they do a worse job on the GS size, like the quality control isn't there or they just do a more sloppy job. But if you look at the men's, it looks pretty awful as well. So I don't know what's going on here, but they just gotta do better next time. And then for the inside of the shoe, this is a Midnight Navy Soft Liner. And it's really soft, it's almost like silk-like. Um, and there's a metallic finish to it. And I'm gonna take out this piece here. And then for the insole, there's some co-branding going on with the Jumpman and the CO.JP imprinted in white on a Midnight Navy insole. And one additional feature that's not included on the GS but included on the men's is that on the inside of the tongue, there is no tab here. Um, but the men's, it says 2001 to 2020 with the Jumpman. And for the original Japan ones that released, it was X out of N. So the pair that you have that's numbered out of the 3,000 that were released. So they didn't do that this time just because there were significantly more that released stateside um, 20 years later, right? I'm a huge fan of this colorway. I think the Midnight Navy Nuba pieces look really good against this bright white leather. And even though they have that same silver metallic swoosh, these look significantly better than the metallic silver set drops. And this white midsole here looks good against this midnight navy blue um, outsole here. And this outsole, they kept it classic. I am a huge fan. I'm glad they didn't make any changes to it. So if you're ever able to get your hands on these or your feet in them, make sure you go through the size. And before you step out the house, make sure you hit it up with a lint roller because it attracts a lot of lint and dust. So that's a pro tip for you. So hang tight because I'm going to show you all what they look like on feet. Perfect, 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 perfect.